Today is 5-25-2023. This is Ani Osaru, owner of the Spiritual Shade Room, Nagaverse Network, and member of Truth Mafia. Yesterday, news reported on the death of Tina Turner by the way of intestinal cancer, a stroke, and kidney failure. Never saw someone die from three different things before, but Gematria can point to the reasons why this, they selected all three. Tina Turner was known as the queen of rock and roll, and this year is the 38th Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and it will come 23 weeks, two days from her death day. That means two days, 23 weeks. That can be written like skull and bones equals 223. And of course, this is 2023, the year of skull and bones. Many people don't understand that there is a arconic occult force at play just like the 2023 NBA championship that's almost on the way and how the Denver Nuggets is known to have a Illuminati airport and the team logo of the Denver Nuggets has the skull and bones in the pickaxes below the mountain of its symbolism. This is hidden synchromistic symbolism that the masses do not see. Everything is under control, like the title of the 1998 book Robert Antoine Wilson wrote. Now back to Tina Turner. Tina Turner in Gematria equals 140. So does kidney failure. She was declared dead yesterday, 5-24-2023, which is the 140th day of the year. She dies at 83 years old. Murder equals 83. Murder also equals 38. And this is the 38th Rock and Roll Hall of Fame ceremony. By the way, the Denver Nuggets is the 38th state. And I believe they're going to win the championship whose uh, star is the Joker. Her son, Ronnie Turner, died last year on December 8th. Ronnie Turner died at 62 years old. Sacrifice in Gematria equals 62. Her eldest son, Craig Turner, died four years before Ronnie. Craig Turner in Gematria equals 73. Fitting that Craig Turner died four years before Ronnie because death comes in fours. If you look into Chinese or Asian mysticism to numerology, the four is always associated with death. Sacrifice and ritual sacrifice also equals 73, like Craig Turner equals 73. And clearly, both sons of Tina Turner were sacrifice. This is the thing. Tina died 167 days after her youngest son, Ronnie's death. They say that she died of intestinal cancer. Intestinal cancer equals 167. So does the hangman. That's the sacrificial lamb, the hangman. That's what it's called. And the reason why they hung melanated people in slavery. Look into Norse mythology. Odin was hung from the Yggdrasil tree. This stuff is a cult and, a me and metaphysical. Even the type of death a group of people is persecuted by is metaphysical and a cult. It's fitting that Tina Turner is called the queen of rock and roll. Elvis is called the king of rock and roll. Let's connect the two. His daughter, Elvis, uh, Lisa Marie Presley, died on January 12th of this year. This is high black magic inversion rituals, people. What they're doing is they're killing the sons from the queen of rock and there to kill the only daughter from the king of rock and roll. So Tina Turner's death comes two months and 23 days from Elvis Presley's death, which his death date is August 16th. Again, skull and bones equals 223, two months and 23 days. And this is 2023, the 322nd anniversary of Yale University, where the secret organization of Skull and Bones began in America. They were formerly known as the Brotherhood of Death, 
and a bonesman, which is a person who is a member of Skull and Bones job, is to infiltrate all important statuses of high ranking positions in the world so that the Illuminati cryptocratic orders can implement their agendas through the bonesmen of the New World Order. And I hope this was informative to people trying to understand these things. Just because she was 83 years old doesn't mean she, quote unquote, died a natural death or intestinal cancer or whatever they tell us. That isn't conso consequential of what's happening to these people who are sacrificed on a daily basis. I want you to understand that their age has nothing to do with how they plan for dates for the ritual sacrifice. All of this is schematics to dark gematria through the Kalipov opposite of the Kabbalah, the tree of death, which has to be watered with souls. But that's all for now. More content is on the way. Ah, Rimpoya, Ah, Oshulu, peace to the gods and goddesses. I'll see you next time.